Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving uh, the problems from fin effectiveness and efficiency. So we are having a problem in where a steel rod thermal conductivity is given 1 cm in diameter and 5 cm long with insulated end is used as a spine. It is exposed to surrounding at 65 degrees Celsius. H is given. Temperature of the base is also given. Here we have to determine temperature at the tip of the spine, heat loss from the spine and fin efficiency. Though, so the fin is of circular shape whose uh, diameter is given, diameter is 1 cm, length is given which is 5 cm fixed to a base where base temperature is 98 degrees Celsius and atmospheric temperature is 65 degrees Celsius. So in any fin problem first you will be evaluating the parameter which is known as m. m is defined as square root of h p divided by k a c which is equal to square root of h is 50 si units into perimeter for circular cross section perimeter is pi times diameter pi times 1 centimeter or 10 raised to minus 2 meter divided by k is 330 into AC cross section area pi by 4 into diameter square which is 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square. So if you are solving this one you will be getting the value of m as 25.82. So from this you will be finding the product m into L which is 25.82 unit will be meter raised to minus 1 into length, length is 5 centimeter or 0 0.05 meter. So you will be getting product of m into l as 1.291 which is unitless. Since ml is lesser than 2.67 this is coming of the case 2 which is short fins with end insulated. So in first case we have to evaluate the temperature at the tip of the spine. So you are having temperature distribution t minus t infinity divided by t naught minus t infinity for the case of case 2 fins as cos h hyperbolic cosine function of m into l minus x divided by hyperbolic cosine of ml cos h ml. Since you have to find the temperature at the tip you will be substituting x equal to l then you will be getting temperature at the tip l minus t infinity divided by t naught minus t infinity will be equal to L minus x, L minus L will be 0, cos h m 0 means cos h of 0 is 1, divide, which is 1 divided by cos h of ml. So, if you are substituting, you will be getting T L is equal to T infinity which is 65 plus T naught minus T infinity which is 98 minus 65 which is 33 into 1 divided by hyperbolic cosine of m in dual which is 1.291 hyperbolic cosine you can use from calculator then you will be getting the temperature at the end as 81.88 degrees celsius this is the answer for first part next you will be evaluating the fin efficiency this is of the case 2 fins and we have from the previous video we obtained the case 2 fin efficiency as tan h of ml divided by ml so if you are substituting ml value is 1.291 so if you are substituting you will be getting the efficiency of fin as 66.5 66.5 percentage will be the answer next you have to evaluate the heat loss from this spine now heat loss from this spine you can evaluate in two ways i will be showing you both the ways heat loss through the spine or heat loss through the fin heat loss through the fin you can actually substitute square root of h into p k a c into t naught minus t infinity into tan h ml this is actually the heat transfer this you have already studied now we are having the expression for efficiency efficiency of fin is defined as q actual or q with the fin divided by ideal or maximum heat transfer where entire surface is maintained at a base temperature that is h into perimeter into length into t naught minus t infinity so here also you can calculate fin heat transferred through the fin as efficiency of fin into h into pl into 
t naught minus t infinity. Since you are having the efficiency 66.5 percentage, you can substitute, or you can directly substitute onto this expression you have studied. So if you are finding q fin, you will be getting around 1.7 watts. This will be the answer for the uh, third part. So this is the solution for this question. So here we are having another problem from the fins. It is actually multiple fins. So copper plate fins of 1 mm thick and 10 mm long fins with the K given are attached to a plane vault which is of 1 meter by 1 meter size and it is maintained at 230 degree Celsius. It dissipates heat into an at atmospheric at 30 degree Celsius with H value 40 watts per meter square Kelvin. Fins are spaced at 8 mm and here negligible. Uh, neglect the heat loss from the tip and calculate fin efficiency, overall fin efficiency, heat transfer and the heat transfer if no fins were attached. So here a 1 by 1 meter wall is shown to which this 1 mm thick copper plate fins are attached. First we have to evaluate the fin efficiency. So in every fin problem first we will be evaluating for an individual fin you will be evaluating the parameter m which is of square root of h into P divided by KC where P is the perimeter and AC is the cross section area for the uh, surrounding H value is given H value is 40 and perimeter this rectangle cross section is having a thickness of 1 mm and length of 1 meter so perimeter will be around perimeter is equal to this is W and this is L W is equal to 1 meter so perimeter is w plus t into 2 which is w is 1 meter or 1000 mm 1000 plus thickness is 1 so 1001 into 2 which is 2002 mm or 2.002 meter and cross section area is w into t which is equal to w is 1000 mm into 1 mm which is 1000 mm or into 1 m which is actually 1 meter into 0 0.001 meter which is equal to 0 0.001 meter square so if you are substituting 40 into 2.002 divided by k value is 380 into 0 0.001 which is equal to 14 point 5 1. Next we will be finding the product of M and L which L is 10 mm or 0 0.01 meter then you will be getting M into L as 0 0.1451 which is actually lesser than 2.67 so we will be giving you the case 2 fins. So case 2 fins with negligible heat loss from the tip. So first part we will be solving here we have to calculate the individual fin efficiency. Individual fin efficiency for case 2 fin is tan h of ml divided by ml where ml is 0.1451 if you are substituting you will be getting the efficiency as 0.993 which is giving you efficiency of 99.3 percentage this is the answer for the first part next we have to evaluate the overall efficiency in the second part from the previous uh, video we have overall efficiency which is defined as 1 minus find area divided by total area which is find and plus unfind into 1 minus individual fin efficiency. Now we have solved for individual fin efficiency which is 99.3 percentage. Next we have to find a f and a total. So here first we have to find the total number of fins. Here the wall is of 1 meter length and uh, the spacing between the fins is given as 8 mm. So number of fins will be 1 meter or 1000 mm divided by 8 which will be getting as 125 fins. So area of fin or total fin area you will be getting AF equal to number of fins into area lateral area of a single fin which is perimeter into length. So this will be around 125 into perimeter is 2.5. 0, 0, 2 into length of the fin is 0 0.01 this you will be getting around 2.5 meter square you will be getting 
Next, you have to get the unfenned area. This is unfenned area you will be getting. Total plate area is 1 meter square minus fins are having a thickness of 1 mm. So, 125 fins are there. Uh, thickness of single fin is 1 mm which is 0 0.001 and length of the fin is 1 meter. So, this much meter square will be giving you the total unfinned area which is around 0.875 meter square you will be getting. So, finned area and unfinned area you are having. So, you can find A total which is total area will be equal to AF plus A unfinned which you will be getting around 3.375 meter square you will be getting. So, now you are having you can find overall efficiency which is equal to 1 minus finned area is 2.5 divided by total area is 3.375 into 1 minus individual efficiency is 0.993. This will be giving you an overall efficiency of 0.9948 which is equivalent to 99.48 percentage. So, this is the answer for the second part. Next in third part we have to evaluate the total heat transfer from the plane mode. Now we have obtained the overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is defined as actual heat transfer with the multiple fins divided by ideal or maximum heat transfer. Now you are having the overall efficiency as 0.9948 in third part you have to evaluate this actual heat transfer with the multiple fins or total heat transfer from the plane mode. This you can evaluate by uh, multiplying overall efficiency by ideal or maximum heat transfer. Here you are having ideal uh, or uh, maximum heat transfer you can evaluate. This is based on the assumption that the entire surface is maintained at a base temperature means this will be equal to h into a total into t naught minus t infinity which will be equal to h 40 watts per meter square kelvin area total is 3.375 meter square into t naught minus t infinity is around 200 this will be getting around 27 kilowatts so now you are having the overall efficiency as 0.9948 so you can evaluate the uh, third part means heat transfer through the fins through fins means here we are taking the entire multiple fin finned surface we are taking this will be equal to eta overall into 27 which will be equal to 26.86 kilowatt will be the answer for the third part or in another way also you can evaluate this uh, total heat transfer through the surface this I will be showing you here so this third part or this can be evaluated by Q with this fins fins means multiple will be equal to heat transfer through the finned area and plus heat transfer through the unfinned area heat transfer through the finned area will be equal to number of fins into h into sorry number of fins into heat transfer through a single fin fin is of case two types so it will be equal to square root of hp into kac into t naught minus t infinity into tan hml will be giving you the heat transferred by a single fin into number of fins will be giving you the heat transferred by the fin area plus heat transferred by the unfinned area q unfinned will be equal to area of unfinned into h into t naught minus t infinity if you are evaluating this also you will be getting the same value 26.86 kilowatt you may calculate and verify whether you are getting 26.86 kilowatt and in the last part you have to evaluate the heat transfer if no fin is used that means q with no fins this we will be using for evaluating the effectiveness effectiveness is the parameter 
comparing the use of fins and without using fins. So this will be equal to h into area when no fins are used. This will be actually the plane area 1 by 1 meter square that is 1 meter square will be this area with the no fin into t naught minus t infinity which will be equal to h is 40 area is 1 meter square into 200 which you will be getting around 8 kilowatt you will be getting means in fourth part uh, if you are not using any fin then heat transfer will be 8 kilowatts if you are using this multiple fins this 1 mm thick 10 mm long this 125 fins are used then it will be transferring a heat around 26.86 kilowatts so with the use of fins heat transfer is increased or here you can find the effectiveness of fins effectiveness will be getting around this q uh, with the fin divided by q without anyway here this will be greater than 1 which will be uh, giving that here with the use of fins actually the heat transfer is increasing so this is the answer for this question thank you